what time is it? You know what time it is. It's time to hit that subscribe button. It's right down there. Right down there. And it's time to find my Instagram, Geekly Amanda, G E E K O I Amanda. Same on Twitter. And it's Crazy Amanda Reacts on TikTok, too. And it's time to get this movie review started. movie skipping the release of in movie theaters and going to straight to P V O D available to rent is the high note which stars Tracy Ellis Ross we got the Dakota J uh, Johnson who was in 50 shades and you know Tracy Ellis Ross who's in blackish daughter of Diana Ross and it's even got ice cube in this movie, movie surrounds you know grace who is played by Tracy Ellis Ross and is an iconic singer iconic legend of a singer you know back in the day but all she really is doing now is putting out greatest hit given this opportunity to take on a vegas gig which her producers and all the people behind her are pushing so it has this personal assistant maggie who is played by dakota johnson and maggie is kind of like not only a fan of grace but also an aspiring producer herself they have this kind of tug of rope thing going on because Maggie wants Grace to put out some new music, not just doing this little hamster wheel of her old greatest hit stuff. Now, along with all this, you know, Maggie wants to be a spying producer. And, you know, she has to find her own people. Grace already has somebody, Jack. Jack is her producer, Ice Cube, who like puts, he puts little, little Maggie up in her place talking about, you know, she needs to go find her own talent. Don't just try to come up in here and steal his and get, you know, Grace as a, to produce under her and everything that she needs to go find her own talent. So that's what Maggie does. She went out, find her own talent. But in the meantime, maybe that little talent that she find is also a little love interest. Dakota Johnson, I know. I have a hard time seeing her in any other role outside of Fifty Shades of Grey. I do. Every time I see her, I just see her up on bowing down to D D Christian, waiting for her little whipping and all that kind of nasty stuff. And when I see her in other roles, that's all I can think about is her is that Anastasia in Fifty Shades. I still kind of saw this in, in this movie. She wants to be a producer and she's trying to give all this musical advice. And it's kind of laughable because I'm like, girl, you need to go back up in the red room. I'm, it's not believable. One thing she is good at, it is like the little love and chemistry up on the screen. It is. She, she, she just had me there. And so I was sucked into that story. I loved it. And I don't know if it was the whole love story aspect of this movie because I love me a love story and I can be sucked in it, a love story from from beginning to end. But I don't know if it was that or maybe it was even my fascination with the whole, you know, where is she now singer movie legend of the story. But I wasn't bored at all. Two hours flew by for me. If I had one complaint, it would be that the end was a little rushed. They brought you on this whole journey of watching the career of you know a grace and then you're watching the love story and then there here's grace's assistant as a you know wanting to be an aspiring producer and they they brought you on this whole two-hour journey and then at the end it's like Done. i wanted y'all to follow through with that make it two and a half hours if you needed it to because i felt like the end was just kind of cut off i wanted more that was my only okay. movies go i enjoyed it a lot so much so i gave it a nine out of a ten i did it's coming to your theaters on your TV screen in your in your living room this Friday. Yeah. I think it's going to be the highlight of your movie watching experience this week. And if, when you see it, you come back here and let me know what you thought. Comments, thumbs, and all that. Until next time. Mwah.